did you go into this day thinking we really have to plan for this ending badly? No, actually it was just the opposite. Yeah. We, we had met with the planners of the protests weeks before when we knew uh, the July 4th weekend prompted this idea of a national protest day. Right. And so we met with them. We were uh, in undercover capacity in their planning meetings. We were hearing what they were planning to do. They were planning yeah. to have a peaceful protest and they intentionally wanted to be peaceful because they wanted the country to hear their concerns and not, and not be distracted by violence or right. property damage or whatever. So we knew that they were going to have speakers, have a pretty stationary event in a park downtown, yeah. and then disperse. Right. That, that was the plan, and it was going to plan. And Dallas also, let's say, not just any city in this country, right? It is the uh, ninth largest city in the entire country. It has a long history of, of issues around race. Yes, it does. And so uh, Dallas as a particular backdrop is an element of, of this story and maybe a greater burden for the city to show its best face. I, I agree. And, and we were intentional in our ways of managing this crowd. Yeah. We were making sure that the best of Dallas was going to be on display. display. Yes. So the gentleman who uh, uh, killed these police officers, five officers ultimately uh, uh, died uh, as a result of this uh, day. Um, uh, Micah Johnson was an Army veteran, African-American, and mm -hmm. he very specifically said, we came to know, uh, that he was targeting uh, the police, and white police specifically, as a result of these incidents that had happened elsewhere, right? Yes, we, we learned that later at the time when we negotiated with him. Yeah. We, people think this was a long, drawn-out event, and it was to a certain extent, but right. the shootout was just a few minutes. Yeah. And we spent the time after he, the suspect gets cornered yeah. three and a half hours to try to bring it to a peaceful conclusion, even though there had been right. the, the most extreme violence you could, you could imagine. Yeah. We still wanted to give him an opportunity to give up peacefully, and that opportunity just didn't exist. Yeah, and so ultimately, as we now know from watching the events on that day, you, you had a, a robot uh, with a bomb on it. A pound of C4. Right, that you sent in, and that's ultimately how you resolved the situation, and he, he, he was killed, and the situation was brought to a close, and... And that was it. It could have been a lot worse. And in fact, he talked about having intentions for it to have been a lot worse. In fact, at one point he said, we've got bombs, all, there are bombs all over Dallas, right? He, not, not, not just his intent yeah. to cr create the most damage he could to, to people. He wanted to divide us around race. Yeah. He particularly wanted to target white cops so that we could be more divided yeah. in this area of white cops versus yeah. the communities of color. That This was more than just the violence, which was bad enough, but he wanted to spark something that would divide our city, divide our country even more.